Hey there, gas holes. It's Cozy. Quick note before we get into the podcast here. This was recorded Sunday morning, June 21st, on the way to Talladega, Alabama. We had an awful setup, and this podcast couldn't have gone any worse. We had video for most of it till the GoPro died, and you'll, you'll understand when it dies uh, there late in the podcast. And then it switches over to the audio that I recorded on my laptop with the Yeti we had there. I edited the podcast as much as I could to make it listenable. But there in the last, like, ten minutes where it's the, the laptop audio, it's, uh, it's not great. It kind of, like, skips briefly every couple of seconds, so it's not awful, but you can pretty much understand what the hell we're saying. So, yeah, next time we do this, we'll be a little better. Thanks for listening. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's the Gas Holes Podcast. This is a lot different. Um, I didn't really think too far into this. This might be the worst production quality <laughs> podcast you ever, ever listen to or watch or anything, experience. Uh, so we're on the way to the track right now, Talladega. Uh, Travis is driving. I'm hanging out here. Where I got my laptop. We got a, a Yeti that's that's uh, bouncing everywhere, and we got a GoPro for video. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, so yeah. All right. Say what's up. What's up? All right. Oh, don't open your door. No, brother. I can't just merge on the motorcycle. Damn, he did not look happy. Yeah, he's pissed. Um, anyways. Um, so I guess we'll, uh, we'll try to do this normally. We kind of want to get through this because I want to get through, uh, yeah, we just got a lot of stuff going on here. And the longer we go, the higher probability of failure we have. So, uh, looking at the, the, <laughs> the outline on, on, on the Discord on my phone. We got a Homestead Xfinity brief. Uh, Noah Gregson got cucked again. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, no. Okay. Homestead Cup. It sucked. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say? Not really. Um, yeah, it was kind of shit. And then uh, I forgot about the lightning strikes. Oh, that was fun. You know, we're probably going to go through that today uh, uh, with the chance okay. of rain. I don't know. See, my, I get it. Like, it's a safety thing, and it's probably for insurance reasons. But, like, at a certain point, somebody just needs to go take one for the team. You know what I mean? Like... Since NASCAR's started, there's been one person that's been struck by lightning, and it was after the race. And now we have to sit around for 30 fucking minutes. Especially in Florida. It's like lightning could strike yeah, any time. They could really use it like a decrease of the uh, the range, I guess, or whatever they have. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of stupid. And uh, I just feel like it wastes everybody's damn time being, being a little bit too... I mean, I get being cautious, but uh, maybe they could bump it, bump it down a little bit. Um, there was uh, there was another Quinn incident this week. You know the unfor- the really unfortunate part in the last couple of weeks is that Quinn has been um, here and there and just had these little incidents. So now everybody's kind of got it in their head. They already had it in their head with uh, Landon getting dropped and then them bringing in Quinn. That already like it already started Quinn off like ten levels behind. And uh, so now like anytime Quinn's involved in something big or small. What happened? I don't even remember. Well, I'm getting to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about it. Okay. Um, yeah, so he, uh, yeah, so just any any little thing, like the like the spit of Martinsville. Oh, Quinn, Quinn Hoff sucks, because uh, he got dumped, uh, even though they didn't show the replay, they figured he just spun it on purpose. So there's just like this bad uh, stigma, is that the right word? Everybody's just uh, looking, looking for, they're, they're picking, they're picking. Anyways, so uh, it was earlier earlier in the race, and he was still on the lead lap. He fit with everybody else, but of course, <laughs> but of course he was uh, he was at the back of the field. So as he was trying to get into his pit box, uh, the the leaders were coming out, and as he went to turn off in his pit box, Kurt Busch was pulling out. And Homestead's a pretty narrow pit road as it is, so he had to check up to to miss him. So then Legato got in the back of him, and then Legato got nose damage. That wasn't Quinn's fault. I don't give a fuck what you say. I mean, he has the right to pit. If he's on the lead lap, he has the right to pit with just everybody else. It was just a, it was just bad timing. But because because it was, you know, the whole ordeal, and because it's not Landon Castle, it was Quinn House's fault, and now he's the worst driver ever, which is fucking stupid. Grow up. So, that was it. It's just like, Kurt Busch was trying to come out. He was trying to come in. Legato had nowhere to go but put it in, put it in Quinn's butt. So, so, like, what the fuck do you want from the guy? I mean, it's not his fault. He's just doing his damn job. 
So that's all I got to say about that. Uh, but once again, it's not like any little thing. Like if he's in the way just a little bit, if he's getting lapped, oh, quit, quit out. Shouldn't be out there. Shouldn't have this right. Trying to get on pit, just trying to get in his damn box. Oh, he shouldn't be in the damn car. Shouldn't be trying to get in his pit box. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I'm trying to stick up for the guy. I have a Starcom fan, but I'm trying to stay on bias at the same, you know, same point. But, uh, I mean, for real, the man's just trying to pit. Give him a damn break. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I still have no clue. I never saw it. I didn't pay much attention to that race, as yeah, you well, can imagine. It wasn't really that big. I mean, Legato was fast early on. I think he led the race early on. And then people just were salty because he got nose damaged because of the situation that he sucked the whole rest of the race. So. Oh, yeah, and then Newman dumped his shit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, did he? Yeah, remember, uh, he blocked Newman, and Newman just went down in there and fucking yeeted him. Uh, put a big hole in his own no in Newman's nose. Oh, uh, I never saw that. Yeah. Oh, damn. Well, well, that's fun. Um, we got the LaJoy backpedal. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying this, but LaJoy's just a bitch. Like, he milked this whole situation into something it shouldn't be, and then, or shouldn't have been, I guess, and... Why am I going under the speed limit? Um, yeah, you can pick it up. Sorry. Um, then just out of the blues, like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> did, did you watch the podcast where he went in on Hamlin and talked about I did. Uh, oh, man, NASCAR that stepping in? That production quality is probably worse than this podcast. Yeah, that was pretty bad because his sake. mic kept spiking or whatever. Yeah. Oh, um, man. But they ended up deleting it. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. It was, it was just the whole situation. It's like I get coming out and apologizing, but like, don't make this whole big deal get your attention and then be like, oh yeah, I'm, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like everybody's shitting on Hamlin. It's kind of like the the hoof situation where everybody just hates Hamlin already, so they're all gonna yeah. take Lejoy's side. But really, Hamlin didn't do like yeah, Hamlin was talking shit or whatever. But like, even if he did text him and say he was gonna wreck him. Like, okay, that might be a little over the line or whatever. He should have either just wrecked him or settled it, you know, man-to-man. -man. Yeah. Uh, good old-fashioned slugfest. But, like, still, like, what's the big deal? I, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm still not interested on, on sides or anything. I just, I just think it was funny, the whole deal. I was, I don't know, I just enjoyed it. I think it was funny. They both threw shade. Um, Denny, Denny Hamlin ended up going out there and winning. Uh, but then, you know, the, the whole Martinsville door deal, Corey the Joy stayed out and kept Hamlin alive down, which was funny. I just liked the whole deal. That was funny. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, that's the thing, though. Then Hamlin said that, uh, or LaJoy said that Hamlin, you know, was texting everybody that they were, he was going to wreck him. And, uh, and then Denny Hamlin said it was false. So somebody's full of shit. Well, then NASCAR did come out and said they had a meeting with them. But Hamlin never denied the meeting. I think he just denied why there was a meeting. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hamlin's no saint. He's got his own situations. Yeah. Um, but in that particular situation, I mean, I enjoyed it. I'm not one of those NASCAR fans who has to take a side and everything and just like yeah. hate gets mad over it. But it's like I don't really see anything that Hamlin's done wrong in this situation. And I don't fault LaJoy for standing up for himself. But the way he went about it, and the way he's always just whining about how bad his cars are, you know what I mean? It's like, at a yeah. certain point, just go out there and fucking drive the thing. That's what people like the Benedetto did. Yeah, it's very true. Drive the son of a bitch. Or even Kurt Busch, like, when he had to step down, he, you never heard him being like, oh, man, my cars fucking suck. That's the only reason I don't win, because my cars suck. Like, that doesn't make anybody like you. Yeah, I saw he posted, uh, LaJoy posted a video on Twitter, I guess that was his, uh, I don't know what it was about. I guess he posted that, and he posted, like, a, one of them long-ass iPhone messages yeah, or whatever, God. one of them fucking notes. You know somebody fucked up when you see one of them. <laughs> somebody <laughs> fucked up or somebody died if you see one of those on yeah. your timeline. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sometimes both. Somebody yeah, fucked so up and it caused somebody to die. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I man, that's really all I got to say about that. I do want to take a brief second to acknowledge these crackers. Um, not only for you, but uh, when I go back and edit this podcast, I want to I want to make sure I remember these because I want to buy some when I get home. Oh, you like them that good? Yeah, they, I mean, I ate two packs of them. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, depending on how long 
this goes in my even third. These are Captain Wa <laughs> Captain Wafers, uh, made by Lance. Sandwich crackers, cream cheese, and chives. I don't know if you can see this. You probably can. Um, yeah, these are pretty good. So, uh, all right. They got a unique taste to them. I don't know. I've, I've been a fan for years. Yeah, shout out to Travis on the crackers there. That's. Uh, Told my mom. I, I walked in. I was like, "We have crackers mom. or something." I'm hungry. She said, "Here, take a whole box." All right. <laughs> I was like, Hell shout yeah. Shout out to mom and Travis. Then. All right. Um, Oh yeah, the, okay, there's a follow-up. Whose side are you on? Corey LaJoy or Denny Hamlin? Um, you don't really gotta pick a side if you don't want to, but uh, hey, leave your comments down below if you'd like to. Um, I mean, I don't think it's really that big of a deal, but uh, There's a road up here called Booger Hollow. We might have passed it. I don't know, it's pretty funny. Booger Hollow Road, folks, is the real thing. Alright. Um... Martha Berry Highway. Shout out to Martha. Uh, shit. Uh, alright, next up. How we been? Shit. Oh, no, not the... There we go. Nope. There we <laughs> How go. are we looking? Uh, I think we're okay. We're just gonna... We might not be okay, but if... I, I would assume we're There okay. might be some face mask in that shot. <laughs> you might wanna... <laughs> I think... Uh, I mean... Yeah, I can pull it up. Anyways. Um, yeah, so we met... Uh, just because we've been... You, you, you've been, I don't know if anybody really asked me. I'm I've been getting this question a lot because I'm the less relevant one. Nobody. <laughs> How the fuck do you know Cozy? Well, uh, we actually had a whole podcast back when I had my own podcast recorded with this story. But I forgot oh, that to was record. A legendary podcast. Dude, that would have been so great. And sometime we need to do that for gas holes. But just like a brief history of us. Um, we met back in 2013. But we weren't really friends until 2014. But 2013, we ran a an iRacing league called, what was it at the time? Anyone that could drive? ATCD? Yeah, ATCD. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit more to go. Yeah. The phone's in the damn. Oh, well, here. Allow me. Put that down there. There you go. Um, be a little better. We ran a league uh, called ATCD. It's a street stock league with a bunch of shitty drivers. Preet was there. Um, I didn't show up a whole bunch, but I just knew Cozy from around uh, team speak and shit. And then there was some sort of falling out with that league. I don't really know what happened. And that, it, uh, that Josh dude. He, oh, Ingersoll, he, he, yeah. He, he ran it, and then they were like, I don't know, I just they got told the fuck him, out. Yeah, told him to fuck off. And he started hardcore sim racing, uh, <laughs> and X-Cal was started up with the other people. And we went the X-Cal route, and... Um, that's when we kind of became friends because I didn't really like you at first um, because we were all like 13 year old shitheads you know and yeah. we pretty it's much it's been a long time ago yeah so we didn't really like everybody just kind of ran into everybody so I was like you know what fuck Cozy I don't like Cozy but then me and Preet became friends and then me and Cozy became friends um, then I got invited to the Skype calls the legendary Skype calls oh yeah those were great um, yeah that was the thing so me, me and Preet y'all most of y'all know Preet he does the best of videos, and he's on iRacing a lot, a lot of iRacing streams. We went to school together, so that's how me and Preet know each other. Uh, he went to he went to the same school I did for from first to third grade. Uh, he went there for kindergarten too, I think. Uh, but I wasn't in his. They did like AM and PM classes. He was in one of them, and I was in the other. I didn't meet him till first grade. Anyways, he was the one who kind of got me into NASCAR, and uh, we, you know, he left at the end of third grade, but we we uh, we kept friends and. Uh, you know, we've known each other ever since. So, uh, I got I racing, and then he got I racing a couple months later, I think. And then, um, yeah, he was the one who got me into that first uh, league stuff at ATC. I followed him in there, and um, yeah, I was bad. It's kind of back to where we are now. So, I just wanted to just a little. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Then pretty much once the Skype calls started happening, I mean, we were talking what every day. For the most part, yeah, that was that was the that, that was the communication back then was Skype. Y'all y'all kids with your discords now. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know the Skype days, boy. Uh, those are good times, man. Skype calls. We used to have him. Uh, we used to, used to have that shit going on all the damn time, man. We'd leave them going to see how long we could get them. We had like a yeah. I don't remember the one. I know we had them go over twenty four hours a handful of times. Yeah, uh, we were up in the forties. Oh I God, think. hold the mic. No, 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 we're good. We're yeah. good. I, got on I put it right there here. in the middle since it, it rides a lot better. Oh, now. we lost the camera. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> There's this guy. 
Yeah, all right, man. Production quality. This is uh, this is the most half-assed thing I think I've ever done in my professional career, but uh, it's great to have you here. Yeah. Uh, if this ever made, if it does, it didn't. Well, I guess it you was that bad. Yeah. We can release it at a later date, though. Oh. Um, if we ever have an off week, we'd be like, here's the worst podcast we ever recorded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can we can put this one in the vault if it doesn't make it. So <laughs> release it on VHS. Yeah, there you go. Oh mother damn, you gotta stop hitting the brakes today more. Well, how about me? You want me to run the red light? Yeah. Fuck. He'll stop. Yeah. Alright, I think from here on we don't have another red light for a little bit. I had a I won big off a lottery ticket down here. Yeah. Uh, towards we talking? Carrollton. Won like seventy five bucks on oh, a scratcher. Hell yeah. That's what started my lottery problem there for a while. I'm still profitable on the lottery though. Eight bucks. I've never played the lottery. I don't want to start because I don't think it'll stop. It, it. I mean, it's fun. I uh, like I said, I won big on that one. Uh, so I just started using that money to play and I was up $130 to the good at one point and it's just been downhill ever since so I haven't played in a while <laughs> um, I won big down in Washington County Georgia um, hey Washington County baby yeah it's a uh, interesting area but we uh, we went down there for my cousin's basketball and uh, I won a, a cash pop down there at an Ingalls a which, what? an Ingalls no, no, no! It was an IGA, not an Ingles. It was an IGA, um, and that's a that was a I don't know. That was a weird trip. It was a cool trip. It was a weird trip. I don't know why I'm talking about it, but yeah, I played soccer right here. Uh, my my soccer career ended on the field behind this school building over here. I know they can't see it, but we're passing a school. All um, right, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I played soccer back there. Remember, I told I forget what I said. It was a night. It was a real stinger for a middle schooler. Because it had an F word in there. I forget what it was. Post game. When they made us all shake hands, I told somebody to fuck off or something. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, where the hell were we? I don't know. Oh, us beat it. Yeah, Skype calls, though. We'd go a long time with those damn Skype calls. And we, uh. Yeah, and then just from there, we were in leagues and more leagues and more leagues. And then we didn't really talk for a while, not because we hated each other, but I kind of got out of high race thing. And that was right when, what, the first heat came out? Um, and you started really doing heat because we weren't you weren't streaming any iRacing or recording any iRacing until we got back into Rod Car, right? Because um, I remember after Blaney won Pocono or whatever is when we started racing Rod Car, and you had just you had only done like little bits and pieces of iRacing content here and there because I know I wasn't really racing. Well, I was I think around that time in, in between there I was streaming on Twitch because we were doing Arc. And, yeah, but uh, this was well after Arc. Yeah, well, I was. We were doing Arc, and then we were doing um, NASCOM yeah. and all that stuff. That yeah. So we um, yeah, cause all right. So I recently switched to Twitch, and uh, most that was the thing. Nobody knows. I used to say. I, I mean, I told everybody, but I used to stream on Twitch. Uh, that's what I originally started with. I should have fucking kept with it, but um, I um, yeah, I streamed iRacing on Twitch and all that stupid stuff. Of course, nobody watched me. Nobody knew who the hell I was back then, but I still did it. I did uh, streamed all that MLE stuff and, and NASCOM, and, um, and that was I did ARC. I had a nice little overlay for the ARC series that lasted like four weeks. Had the biggest. Had, it was going to be the biggest I racing league ever. And every I racing league is going to be the biggest I racing yeah. league ever. Only one's done it. That's on my shirt. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a fucking joke of a series. I don't care what anybody says. I fucking hated it. Uh, it was way too overmanaged. It was way too serious. It was just way. It was, it was just a big ego trip for everybody. Um, but yeah, I remember they made you like the uh, the corporate streamer, not corporate streamer, streamer. But you were like the in-house streamer. I remember because they tried broadcasting themselves. And oh, nobody yeah. watched, and it was terrible. Because that's where we got all those sound bikes, the uh, OJ Doppelopper or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, I am Dave. I am Dave. <laughs> um, <laughs> these people don't know what the fuck we're talking about. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that was, I mean, there was a lot of good memories that came from it. Um, but they tried doing, like, the split system, too. And Yeah, it was almost like Road to Pro. Yeah. That was, uh... That truck already passes. That was another one. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice, pun really pun nice Punisher decal, you nerd. Fuck it. We get a lot of those down here. 
I don't get it. But, um, yeah. And anyway, so there was like a little break. Uh, I guess the only thing we were running was like NASCOM and shit, but you hadn't really been streaming a whole lot of iRacing until Dirt came out. Because I remember Dirt coming out. We did that uh, Dirt Street Stock thing that was a video, and we had that asshole comment. Why did you do uh, what did he say? It was like he was livid how we were driving the cars. He, oh, like, man. he started the cover with, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> you're doing it all wrong. And it's like dirt had been out for a fucking day. And, like, none of, neither of us had ever driven a dirt car. We ran one, two in the fucking race. So we were doing something right. Yeah. And, oh, uh, man. I forgot about that, man. When I, let me tell you all something. When Iris <laughs> came out, man, there were so many schmucks that just had to tell everybody how to drive. I'm going to tell you something. Dirt there, when it first came out, brought out some of the biggest fucking assholes in iRacing history. Still does. But, oh, my God, everybody who'd ever driven anything on dirt in their lives. Uh, or knew somebody who drove or, something or on Or knew dirt. somebody. Let me tell you, it, that was even worse. The people who knew somebody who drove on dirt all of a sudden became the dirt expert and had to tell everybody how to fucking drive. Shut up, you cunt. <laughs> um, but, yeah, then... Then that's when we got into Rod Car, and um, that's really when the stream started taking off, I guess, was when yeah. Rod Car started. And it wasn't like initial, because you didn't stream at first. You just would record them and re-upload them. Um, and then you started streaming them, but your internet was garbage. I like so. how you remember this stuff better than I do. I didn't remember I was... Did I really do that recording them? And... Yeah, because uh, the one with Larry, the, my monitor fell off my desk. You weren't streaming that. You would just upload because you would take the cautions out of them. Oh, yeah. And then you would uh, upload them. Then you start streaming, but not uploading the stream or whatever. You'd still do the highlight video and upload it. And then you just got to where you just streamed it. Um, and once you start doing that consistently around the time, about halfway through our first season, that's when the numbers went up. And then when DXT and all that came out. That's the thing, man. Rod Car, a lot of these new folks who probably listen to this, they only remember Rod Car as what Rod Car was this year, right when it died. Rod Car back in like 2018, that was peak Rod Car. Mm -hmm. When we'd have DXT and uh, Rodney yeah. Walford and all those yeah, guys. Yeah, Rod Car used to be like elite. Like yeah. There was a, like it was, it was hard to win those fucking races. So when you did, man, it was fucking all. I mean, it was, it was still hard there at the end just because there was so much stupid shit, but like, Back in like 2017, 2018, man, those races, like, everybody was really good at play racing. And you just couldn't, you couldn't make any damn mistakes. And, and there just, like, there wasn't quite as much crashing. And it was just more racing than there was just bullshit. Package also sucked. Yeah, that was another thing. You remember that? I was thinking about that last night. The, the iRacing, the shitty, like, Chevy SS uh, uh, cup draft package. Yeah. Basically what it was, you just kind of, like, rode around. And if you got single file... Like if you're in the if you're the last car in the pack, you would just lose the draft. There wasn't really anything you could do about it. If you didn't have anybody behind you, like one by one, uh, the last car in the pack would just fall off, and that would be it. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Um, but even when Rod Car came back, like towards the end of last year, it was still alright. It was just beginning of 2020 for whatever reason. Rod Car, mainly Josh Williams, but a few other things. Rod Car just went down the tube. Yeah. Um, started letting anybody in. And I don't know. You just it, got a lot of fucking idiots, and then like the the people the the like the people that had been there for years would get pissed off, and they'd start wrecking those fucking idiots, and then it just like it. I don't know. It's just and people weren't fucking idiots, you know. Yeah. And, you know, it, like you get wrecked here and there, cool. But like you know, people would be jumping the starts, and there'd just be so much damn shenanigans. And God love them. <laughs> But Ron's not going to fucking do anything about it. He never did. Apparently, I, I, I heard from sources that league he started. So, he said he was just pulling the plug on Rod Car and disappearing. But what he really did was go and start a new league for all the people who were causing problems in the league, like Josh Williams. And they voted on tracks. So, they were running tracks that weren't plate tracks. But then half of them wouldn't show up unless it was a plate track. And everybody in the league wasn't allowed to invite people. So, somebody invited me and I got removed because... Uh, they had a no streaming, or no streamers rule or something. Um, I guess because of all the slurs and stuff that are sitting there. But we uh, fast forward to this week. I heard that Rod pulled the plug on that too. So yeah. I don't know. Poor Rod, man. I love Rod. Rod's a good. Oh, they got. They just pull over one of those. Yeah. What the hell? 
Oh, look at this old oh, bastard. Wait. What the heck? out having a good day. It's a beautiful day for riding one of those. I want one of those someday. It's, uh, I forget what the, are they got. They're not the spider. They're the, uh. That's what I thought it was. Razor. The spider's the, uh, three-wheel motorcycle. That's the three-wheel car or whatever. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, some cop just pulled over a damn three-wheel fucking car thing. Over in a daresville one time, I saw a guy in a hover and get pulled over. That was funny. Highway 41, he pulled right over to the side. I don't know why they pulled him up. I guess he was on the, out on the road. It was pretty dangerous. Uh, it was pretty funny to see. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's really about the end of it then. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we can go into more detail sometime when we're not doing this in a fucking car. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we met, just through iRacing. And we've been buddies ever since. He's put up with me ever since. That's a big old woman to be on the back Good of a motorcycle. Good God almighty damn. Yeah, Good see, he's got the extra wide motorcycle. Yeah, he's so. got the, the three-wheeler, so. Yeah. <laughs> she thinks it's just because it looks cool, but he knew. Yeah. He was going to have to get her on the bitch seat somehow. It wasn't going to work on two wheels. Got to have to lift her off of that damn thing. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, 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 hell. Man, somebody's getting mad. The police are on it today. God, please. Fucking hauling ass. They shut his lights off. He was just testing it. Well, yeah, he fucking man. Let's see what this baby's got. It's first day, his first day on his job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, all right. We got, uh, actually, let's do, uh, you want to do the mailbag? Yeah, let me get that up. Wait, did I just, I just got a copyright claim on YouTube and I haven't uploaded it in fucking uh, weeks. Man. signed up for accounts and shit on there too so you might okay. have to go through some <laughs> promotional right. this is my first week on the moonhead mailbag don't roast me uh all right here's somebody i recognize uh, all right this is cameron kane a uh, long time supporter uh y'all uh, both recently started streaming on twitch what were your reasons for switching and how are you liking it so far love of the podcast i'm sure you're not loving this one uh, and y'all continue the great work. Oh, yeah, we're going to try our best. Thank you very much. All right, you, you can go first then. Um, Move to Twitch. Yeah, I kind of I kind of said this on my stream the other night. Um, and I was going to say it on here, so I'm glad he asked. Um, for me, it was just there's more potential on Twitch for my streams. Um, my, my YouTube channel, I feel like, has done well enough um, the last handful of months that I can I can just do videos there also I've seen Cozy's kind of disproven this because he can upload a video right after he streams and it does fine but I know some people in the Fortnite community would, would stream and then upload a video and it would just fuck with the algorithm so uh, I just wanted to turn my YouTube into only videos um, and then go to Twitch because there's more of an iRacing following there and I felt like there was way more potential for me to grow my streams over there um, as well as like the league and the events and just get more eyes on it um, and then also the streams are way more viewer friendly over on Twitch there's way more features like with shit I can do in the chat with polls and then raids and um, emotes and then lastly I don't do this for like a living or want to do this for a living even um, but the potential to make a little bit more money while streaming um, to try to upgrade some of my shit because my computer's kind of on its last leg. Yeah. Um, so to be able to do it and have those Twitch Prime subs that cost people nothing but will still get me money, um, plus the ad revenue and bits and all that, um, it just seemed like since I built a decent enough following that I knew would follow me over there, uh, it was time to make the switch. I was actually scared because I thought uh, my viewers would be way down. and I mean, viewers have been down a little bit just because... For whatever reason, it doesn't matter how much you put it out there, people will still come by six months later. When the fuck did you move to Twitch? I always yeah. had it on. Um, I can't wait. That's gonna be me the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but um, still, for the most part, it's been um, about the same. So, uh, really, just potential growth is was my main reason behind it. Yeah, the uh, the biggest thing for me. Well, there's a lot of deciding factors. I don't know if this was the deciding factor, but. Uh, the, uh, the iRacing community is a lot bigger on Twitch, and uh, I was doing, it was kind of a scary move, but so far I'm cool with it, because I've been, the, the views have been going up every single time I've streamed over there now, but um, 
Yeah, I was, I was just getting like, it was fucking crazy numbers, like 300, 400 viewers. I peaked 500 twice. But at the same time, man, nobody fucking watches like YouTube. Um, for from like the iRacing community, I guess. I guess they do, but like it's not. It's not like. Honestly, I just wanted to put myself out there as more of like a more in the iRacing community, if that makes sense. I wanted to be more a part of it. And um, yeah, one of the biggest things now is I can raid people, which is really fun. Um, so I, you know, hopefully that way I can meet new people and, and you know help out maybe smaller Twitch channels and uh, you know throw people their way. I've already got my eyes on some on some people. Uh, between that, um, I think the subs will be. That was the only reason why I didn't do it. This was the only thing holding me back was the YouTube members, and I was like, "Hey, I'm thinking about this in the members only chat in Discord." And everybody was like, "Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, go ahead and do it." Um, I've already had people say they're going to be members on both, which is great. Um, but I think everybody, you know, will probably end up switching at some point, uh, which I think will be the the best move. I think the sub numbers. I mean, we're all over 100 on YouTube. I think that number will go up uh, significantly on Twitch. Yeah, um, so gifted uh, primes and all that. Yeah, you can gift subs, uh, Amazon Prime, all that like fun stuff. So there's um, not only like revenue-wise, but um, you know, community-wise, and uh, just all the little stuff like Twitch VIPs and and uh, it's just uh, there's a couple things obviously YouTube does better, but Twitch heavily outweighs everything that uh, YouTube does for the most part so uh, there's a couple of things I mean you can't I mean <laughs> you know you can't uh, you can't get everything perfect but uh, pros and cons with everything but uh, Twitch was the move for me just for a number of different reasons so I hope people enjoy the, the Twitch streams um, and hopefully people figure it out and, and get on over there I've been posting as much as I can uh, but I know people still don't get the message because they don't pay attention so <laughs> um, yeah I guess we go to the next one then we must have missed our turn, because I don't think we're supposed to go all the way down to I-20. I don't know where the hell we are, so... Uh, last time I went down, I ended up on Highway 100, I reckon, and it was, uh... Ended up in Tallapoosa. Hmm. Um, I don't know if I'm quite there yet, though. This, uh... Here's a question that we kind of, uh... We talked about. Uh, subject line only, so Travis has to give the weekly reminder that he knows you are here to ask a question. <laughs> would you, uh, this is from Andrew. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Hey, buddy. Would you guys ever consider doing virtual watch parties during races? The podcast is gold, and I would much rather listen to the two of you commentating NASCAR than the Fox team. Can Andrew we, from Parts Unknown. Can we tell him? Um, well, there's nothing really to tell. We've thought about it. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> gonna do one what for Xfinity or Arca Dega. Arca yeah we were gonna um, do it for Arca but that was a fucking I'm uh, glad we did it's a good thing we didn't do that um but uh yeah we've talked about doing the the potential of you know like a meme race I guess like uh I don't know just picking out a race and, and having a live watch party for it baby I don't know it's uh it's it's on the it's on the uh the to-do list it's on the list it's uh yeah it's on the whiteboard I definitely want to do it. Um, I may, if co if I can't ever get Cozy to do it, I may just do it at some point um, on Twitch because you can do a lot of things with like timing and scoring on the overlays or whatever. Um, and I feel like it'd be pretty fun to do, um, especially with the quality of broadcasts we get in NASCAR these days. I feel like yeah, um, people could just shut the broadcast off or the the volume off and listen there. But yeah, it's definitely something I want to do. Uh, next up, we got uh, Connor, uh, who writes in, Hey, Travis and Cozy, love the channels and love the podcast. Uh, my question, is out of all the oval tracks on IRC, which track do you feel they got the wrong thing? What? The wrongest. <laughs> do you feel they got the wrong, they got wrong the worst? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was, a, that was a, okay. To clarify, which track <laughs> drives not even close to how the third track drives for life? <laughs> Uh, for what you know about the track, I hope that made sense. Not really, but we get what you mean. I like how he had to clarify his question because he read it back and was like, man, that don't make any fucking sense, <laughs> but whatever. Um, okay, well, obviously, we've never fucking really driven race cars ever before on, on big-time racetracks. So, but this is kind of an easy question to, to answer, though. 
uh, any track that drives the High Line in real life, it doesn't happen on iRacing unless it's Kansas. Yeah, and it doesn't really even happen much at Kansas. So. Well, that's the thing, though. It's like the top is the only groove in Kansas. You yeah. can't run the bottom at Kansas like you could in real life. I don't know why iRacing doesn't, like, that's not a thing. Uh, dynamic grooves, dynamic. Well, they had to get rid of that for the tire model, which me and uh, Jordan and them were talking last night when Dynamic Track first came out in, uh, I forget what series it was, they ended up running the wall at Martinsville uh, on iRace. I just don't know. So I, yeah, there was some race where they ran, a, ran the wall at Martinsville because Dynamic Track, um, that camera angle is not going to be good, I guarantee you. Pussy. Oh, yeah, nice. I got a ball back there. Or my grandfather did. Oh, cool. Uh, oh man. All right, this is kind of a stupid question, but I'll 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 do it. No, why the fuck not? I don't like this question just because. Well, I'll, I'll read it and I'll tell you why I don't like it. Uh, this comes from Hunter. Hi, Cozy Travis. Mike. Hey, hey, how you doing, Hunter? Uh, my question is, how would you build the Gen 7 car from the ground up? In other words, what would it look like? What would the downforce be like of the horsepower numbers? Thanks. I don't know. I've never built a car in your life. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I'd start with the frame, I guess, and uh, work from there. And then uh, I'd I, make it triangular. I get what he means. The only thing, here's the thing. I don't know how fucking race cars work. I know enough that high horsepower always makes things exciting. So that's the only thing I would for sure have is, is high horsepower. As for the spoiler, I don't know. Small. Big enough, small, not not huge. But uh, I, the biggest thing for me, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd just, I think this thing pisses me off. And I, I know every time it slumps down, it's still okay, but I still have to adjust. Um, yeah, for me, I, I'm not an engineer. I don't claim to be an engineer, so I don't know. I know just off what I've seen as a NASCAR fan, high horsepower, low downforce works the best. But I'm not gonna be like those people in fucking, like, like people at SRG, I'd add this many pounds of downforce here, do yeah, this, that. Some, some people act like, like they know a lot more than what they really do. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude, so just shut up. Um, we, we give NASCAR too much shit. They know what they're doing. They accomplished what they wanted with this car. Um, and, well, I say they accomplished what they wanted. They partially accomplished what they wanted because, like, restarts and shit. Um, yeah, it does what it's supposed to do for, like, four laps. Yeah, in theory, the racing is closer at times. Yeah, I um, see what they were going for. But, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I have confidence. I, th I think the Gen 7, oh, boy, um, from the sounds and looks of things, is probably going to be a combination, uh, and it's probably going to be changing up from track to track. Um, which, I mean, it's cool. Whatever produces the best race. So I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I uh, just I don't give a fuck how it looks. All right, here's a okay. This is a stupid. This isn't really a mailbag question, but uh, <laughs> this is from Cameron. Why the fuck does the gas holes logo not even hit the corner of the screen? Been getting my hopes up for two episodes now. When will the paint end? Well, listen here, Cameron. It does hit the corner of the screen. If you paid a fuck attention for two hours, you'd see it. Nope. I specifically put it in there to hit it once once in the two hours so oh. pay the fuck attention and don't don't write these stupid emails all right damn i've never seen i've never gone back and watched it you gotta pay attention don't don't write these stupid emails when it uh i spent if i was gonna do that why would i not make it hit the damn corner come on cameron i'm disappointed in you <laughs> uh, benjamin woodcock somebody sent in an irising name benjamin woodcock the second <laughs> That's awesome. Who said that? Uh, Colin plays. What does Colin play? Ooh. Eye racing, I guess. <laughs> Benjamin Woodcock. Benjamin That's Woodcock. Awesome. All right. 
uh, DC Larson getting into a cup car again next year, and if so, what car? Oh, fuck. I, these are the kinds of questions I don't like. Yeah, um, I like them either. Just because I don't know what car. Um, I mean, I don't know if I see it happening next year, um, but I definitely see him coming back to NASCAR. I mean, everybody was bitching that he deleted his social media during all the crazy times we're having right now. Um, but then I see yesterday he was doing a uh, doing all sorts of charity work with uh, some sort of charity that I don't I don't know what exactly their cause was, um, but it seemed like a predominantly black deal. Um, it just goes to show my point: people care more about people tweeting about something than actually doing shit. Um, so I mean, I think if he's doing stuff like that and winning all the races he win, he's winning, because my man is on a tear right now. I th he's determined. I think that's what it is. Yeah, um, that we've consistency. He's been fucking like he's he's not dicking around with cups, so he's just just doing. Well, yeah. Things. I mean, we've seen him go on like dirt tears before, but it seems like now there's like a whole other fire lit under him, yeah. um, which is pretty cool. So I mean, I think we'll see if he wants to come back. I'm sure he'll be able to at some point. Um, cup might be a little harder just because of sponsorship and stuff and the way cancel culture is made in the NASCAR. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, there'll be some, there'll be an owner somewhere who doesn't give a fuck. This is an interesting question. I don't even know if you'll be able to answer. I don't even know if I can answer it. But, uh, uh, hey, Cody Travis, love y'all's bits. Thanks. Uh, who do you think in K&N, Arca, or Trucks have the potential to be a cup champion? Or do you think a driver from another motorsport can make a move to NASCAR? That's kind of a two-parter. Uh... I'll go first. Another yeah. another motorsport could make another what uh, make a move to NASCAR. A driver from another motorsport, probably not. Well, I mean, obviously they could, but like, I mean, that's kind of like you can't. Who the fuck knows? K and N, Arca trucks. I don't really know half of those damn drivers. I think most of the Kyle, like the Gibbs developmental drivers, kind of suck. Um, I was watching the Arca race though. And uh, I really like that uh, the dude named Drew Dollar. That's a really cool name. I hope he does good. <laughs> um, what the hell is up with uh, the dinosaur guy? What's his name? Michael uh, Self? Yeah. Have you been in Arca for like 10 years now? What the hell yeah. is he doing? I mean, so is I mean, he just not? Is he just hanging out in Arca? I don't know. I think he's running some trucks or something here and there. But I don't know. There's some people like, like uh, Richard Petty's grandson or whatever. Uh, Dad Moffat. That oh, ginger yeah. with the weird hair. Yeah, he's got the cool ass hair. Yeah, he. Uh, a lot of them just stay down there. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what their deal is. I can't really think of anyone. Uh, I know a lot of people would say Haley Deegan, but I mean, she's won what yeah. two? Two K N races. Two K N races. She cleaned two people out to win them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's good. Don't get me wrong. I th I think if uh, she ever gets the trucks or whatever, she could probably win there. But I don't really see her doing anything major. I hope I'm wrong, but. See it happen. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Here you go. All right. Well, that's the Moonhead Mailbag. Do we have Cozy's comments this week? Nope. Okay. We did have that one asshole. Not the book. Oh yeah, that one asshole. I don't know what he said, but he was really oh, upset. Oh uh, yeah, you weren't making that one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he was mad because I said not to generalize generalize people, and then later in the podcast, I think he had the Confederate flag as his picture, didn't he? I don't know. Um, sure. Then, jokingly, I as a... That guy thinks he's cool. Um, I as a white man jokingly said that white people ruin everything. And he left two very long paragraph comments. Uh, or one very long paragraph comment and another stupid comment. Um, basically saying how I was an idiot for saying don't generalize people and then saying white people ruin everything. Which... If you're a white person who's insecure about being white, anytime somebody says anything about white people, you have to get all uptight. Go fuck yourself. I that is all. If I'm on the figure eight one, it's do here and here or here and here. I don't fucking know. In fact, I've used Yetis for so damn long, I don't even fucking know. I think it does it here and here. I might have had it wrong the whole time. Oh, so is it that's not going to make it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Find out later. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so that, uh, that brings us to the, uh, so, uh, Bristol is now going to host the All-Star Race, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Um, 
It's about fucking time, am I right? Hell Fuck yeah. off with Charlotte. Like, Charlotte was cool, and it, man, it fucking overstayed its welcome. It, like, the last cool one I felt like was, like, 2009. Remember that one? With, uh, I think it was 2009 oh, yeah, with Jeff yeah, Gordon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that 10-lap shoot out there at the end. I don't know why that one was pretty wild. I mean, obviously, there's been some good moments since then, but um, I don't know. It's just, like, they, they really started dicking with the rules every year. Uh, and the, just the... Um, it just it always sucked. It needs to move every year, and really preferably to a track that they don't go to on the regular schedule. That would um, be cool, yeah. But, I mean, I'm not complaining about Bristol. I think Bristol's going to be awesome. We're going. Are we supposed to say that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're going to Bristol, so that's going to be awesome. Um, uh, but, yeah, I, I'd like to see it change. If it has to stay on a track that's on the schedule already, which I guess would make sense because of contracts and all that, I'd like to see it changing every year, every few years at least. I mean, where the fuck do I get on? Oh, I got food poisoning right up here. From where? Uh, there's a cracker barrel. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. I think we pass it. I'm not sure. We might not pass it. Well, what the hell? Where's the interstate? Oh, I think we go over the interstate. Oh, no, we go under it. We might get to see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a, uh... Cracker Barrel, Popeyes. right up, uh, fuck, I think it's right up there, somewhere, oh yeah, I see, I see, I see. yeah, yeah right. they gave us like bad eggs or something, and oh, we, God. uh, that's why my, bro down the road is Carrollton, Georgia, and, oh, oh there goes the mic oh. and the camera, oh, I mean, uh, oh. anyway, my brother puked in a Radio Shack parking lot, <laughs> Uh, my dad puked on the side of the road shortly after. <laughs> oh, God, it was a bad day. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Not, I mean, not hating on Cracker Barrel. I still love Cracker Barrel. Uh, but, yeah, it definitely. Because my whole family, I got real hot, but I never puked. And then my mom may have puked. I don't remember. Um, I'm about to puke thinking about it. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, honestly, that's really about it for the, uh, for the outline, we were still kind of working on it. Oh, you know what? Um, when I was in Maryland, the night I uh, left, the uh, we were working on the show. We were working on the outline for this podcast, and uh, I was done streaming. I went up. And I was. I went to piss, and there is. Uh, I tweeted about it. You guys probably know what the hell I'm talking about. The fucking. Uh, I saw cop lights out the damn window. And I kind of live out in the middle, of, not in the middle of nowhere, but, but like, well, it's not, what the, oh, no, on it, no, oh, there went, no, no, the GoPro, yeah, I think it died, or we may have to go to, oh, the, man, it's fucking hot as shit, Jesus Christ, I think it's overheated, <laughs> are we gonna have to go to the, uh, we'll just go to the gas holes, fucking bounty <laughs> logo at this point, all right, we've lost video feed here, uh, thanks for listening now, oh my god, it's fucking hot, yeah, Jesus I forgot Christ. to warn you that the dash gets pretty hot, I have water bottles flying out the back of my truck. Huh. Alright. We might have lost them. Okay, well, um, what the fuck was that? Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, no, we didn't. I'm going to pull off here. <laughs> I'm going to situate this. Right. I don't want to get a ticket. Um, yeah, so that was a last minute pit road decision right there. It was, yeah, right. Hit the, you just got inside of the commitment. Oh, 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 I went to piss. I saw cop lights at the damn window. Once again, I, I don't I don't really live in town, but I live kind of on the outskirts and kind of out in a bunch of fields and stuff. And there's this little curve in front of my house. And um, this is, uh, let me tell you something. I've lived there for pretty much my entire life. And the only excitement that we've had there was uh, one day years ago, I was playing basketball and this older fella in a Corvette <laughs> spun his tires leaving this uh, family gathering uh, and tore it up and spun out in this dude's yard which is where this next accident took place and he tore up this guy's lawn which is funny because this guy's lawn he, he, he takes great pride in it and uh, I just thought it was funny he's kind of a schmuck and he uh, he, <laughs> he fuck it. It just he's always on it so uh, oh man, look at this. We are in this Loves. Chester's. What the hell is Chester's? I don't fucking Looks know. like it's good chicken sandwiches. Get rid of all this shit. I'll be right back. All right. So, you, you, you stuck with me now. Okay. Um, 
yeah, so anyways, I got done streaming, I went to piss, I saw cop lights, and I'm like, what the fuck? Um, so I, I, I walked up there, and I was scared, because I didn't know what the hell I was gonna see. My first initial thing was like, it was probably a car accident, what the fuck else would it be? My also, my second thought was, well, it was in the middle of the night, but maybe somebody was out walking or something and got ran the fuck over. I was afraid, I was, that was, I was most afraid I was gonna walk up there and see they were scraping somebody off the damn ground. Jesus Christ, Travis has like 15 water bottles that he just pulled out the back of his truck. No joke. He just threw them all away. So that's what was flying out the back of the... Okay, that's awkward. Alright, he'll be back shortly. Oh my god, don't tell me there's more. I think there's more. Hold on, this is more interesting than my story right now. He's reaching in there. I can feel the damn truck moving. He's repositioning. Oh, I think he's coming. Nope. I think there's more. He's on the other side now. Jesus Christ, Travis big old boy. I felt the whole truck just sit down. He's dicking around with a bunch of stuff back there. I'll let you know if any more bottles come out. Um, yeah, I, was, I just, uh, I didn't know what the hell I was going to see. Because like, where this accident is, there's like uh, this little bit of a hill. And then that's uh, from my house. There's a little bit of an incline. And then there's this curved road. And uh, it's like, a, it's a really tight road. It's It's narrow. And it's, it's just a, I don't know, you just wouldn't really be able to get a lot of speed. And, um, <laughs> so I, uh, I walk up there, and, uh, I see a cop car, and I see a fire truck, and they got the big-ass lights, and there's, there it is, this fucking, this little red Ford that these kids managed to flip. And, uh, it, uh you, you all good? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of water bottles. There's more! So, uh, about a year ago, I bought waters for my mom. She needed waters at the house. And we just left them in the bed of the truck. They've been there for like a year, so I just moved them and all opened. So now we got a whole 24 pack of waters rolling around back there. Oh, brother. I mean, they're full of water. They're not going to fly out. All right. Um, yeah, so, anyways, I went up there and I talked to the uh, the dude operating the uh, fire truck. And I was like, oh, what the hell happened? Is everybody okay? He's like, yeah, everybody's all right. And I'm like, how the hell did they manage to do that? He looked at me. The face he, he gave me was priceless. He's like, it's man, shit. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Nobody seemed to really know what the hell happened. Um, however, the next day I went up there and I looked, and um, this yard I was telling you about where this curve is, it's probably about... Oh, Christ. Oh, Sam. <laughs> okay, well, this is awkward. Hello? Um, make it brief. For I'm, a, I'm a, I love his travel stop off I-20. <laughs> Live on the gas hole podcast. Yeah, I'm less than an hour away. Like 50 minutes. <clears throat> Huh? What? Oh, we're kind of busy here. Well, no, I'm 50 minutes from the track. I'll probably be there before you. 50. Oh, fuck, you eat a dick. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, continue. All right. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so there's this, uh, uh, this, this yard I was telling you about. It's got probably like a, uh, I don't know how high it is. Maybe like a foot and a half high where the, where the, it's, it's basically a bank. This inside bank. And they just cut the corner basically and just ramped the motherfucker and flipped it. Bicycled it and up and just went up and over. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was, um, yeah, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but, uh, that was, I don't know, it was just one of those, like, what the fuck, man. Uh, but, uh. Yeah, so I tweeted about it. If you guys want to see pictures of it, of the car in the aftermath, you guys could uh, check it out on the Twitter. Um, yeah, so that's really about that. Um, There's something else I wanted to talk about, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, I got to give a shout out to why I was so late waking up this morning. Um, so, we were watching last night Bottom Split, uh, Jordan Worth and all them, Twitch.tv slash Bottom Split. They do these pro truck races at various tracks, and they're really fun to watch. Well, there's a guy in there by the name of Davey Daniels. Um, and anyway, they rated him post race, and he's, he just looks like a really cool guy. Well, uh, last night I went to Discord after Cozy went to bed with them, and Davey was asleep on stream. And it kind of worried me at first, not gonna lie. I was a little worried about the guy. I thought maybe he died. But then I scrolled down, and his Twitch bio said, Don't worry, dudes, I'm, uh... I probably got too drunk and fell asleep. And if you look at all of his top clips, the dude just gets drunk and falls asleep on stream. Um, 
So he fell asleep on stream and we watched him for like a little bit. I actually went live on Norton's channel and we kind of watched it and commentated his sleep. Um, but uh, this morning, I wake up and the motherfucker was still streaming, but he woke back up and just kept racing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, what a beast. Yeah, he's a cool guy. So Debbie Daniels, you are my hero. Doubt it will listen to this, but he's my hero. Well, there you have it. Um, I only had eye racing for like a month too. Oh so. hell yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's uh that's really about it. We got to do picks for Dega. Yeah. Cup Cup for Dega. Um, they go, I'm going to go with uh, Keselowski. I feel like it's just going to be a Keselowski. I feel like a little bit of changes to the package and no practice and all that. I feel like it's going to really be one of those races where all the notorious plate guys are up there at the end. Uh-huh. Um, probably going to see a lot of single file today, so that's I'm not exactly looking forward to. But I think Keselowski will win. All right. Uh, obviously, you guys know. I don't know what if you ever do listen to this podcast. I don't know when the hell you you hear it. Talapusa. Yeah, that see that's where we were supposed to come out. Um, but the GPS, I guess I, either I missed the turn or it never told me to turn one or the other. All right. Oh, we never did. Our, uh, we never talked about Arga or Xfinity. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm fuck. Let's keep on going. In uh, my pick, uh, you like this one? I, I've been thinking about this. I think we'll. Uh, I don't know why, but I think it'd be funny since we're both going to be there. The Bills going to win. He's my pick. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty funny to get. Probably get his first win here at Dega. Uh, so Bills, my Bill Byron's my pick. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, so the uh, so we had Arkin Xfinity on Saturday. Uh, geez, that Arca race was awful, wasn't it? Worst Arca race I think I've ever watched, and I've seen some bad ones. Um, and the finish made it even more like that was the most Arca finish ever because the Venturini guys. Oh man, I see lights. Oh, they're getting off there. Um, I know I lost some crucial out of the back of the truck. <laughs> um, damn, we're all in ass. Um, fuck, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, the Venturini cars tried to go around Herbst, and then one of them just, I think it was Michael Self, just cuts down on Herbst, and wrecks himself, but he saves it, and then it was two Venturini cars, or maybe three still, I don't know who's who, and just them slugging it out, and one guy tries to go for it, and he pulls out, and he just lifts, and doesn't go by him, and it was just the most honored right. deflator of a finish. Apparently, he did lift. I saw it on Twitter. He, he cleared it up. He said he didn't lift. He just hit an air bubble or some shit, which still doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. With the air bubble between his foot and the pedal? Because that's the... <laughs> looked like he lifted. He, uh... Yeah, that was the thing. No, okay. First off, it was just very sad only having 21 damn cars. Uh, second off, it was very damn sad seeing only like five competitive cars. <laughs> uh, third, yeah, I don't know what the hell. That was, that was like the last 10 laps when they started actually trying to race a little bit. That was probably some of the worst super speedway racing like just I, I'd ever seen, I think. Obviously, these guys are just ARCA guys, but like... Well, I don't, back I just, in the day, you'd have some good people like Bobby Gerhardt and all of them would still kind of know what they were doing. Yeah, just, I don't know. All of, all of them, but it seems like none of them had ever seen a Talladega race before. And I don't know. That, that last lap pissed me off because I'm like, well, here you go. This will be interesting. All you guys got to do is just buy. It was just a three-car breakaway, but the two cars were together, and Drew Dollar was way the hell out front. All you got to do is push each other clear past them, and they still managed to screw it up. But <laughs> Drew Dollar's the luckiest son of a bitch yesterday because uh, <laughs> it just... Well, I don't know. He just didn't have to do anything. He just ran around the bottom, and they just couldn't figure it out. So I don't, I don't know. It was, it was hard to watch. Yeah. Was, Xfinity was way better, um, but it's still, man. I don't know. It's just you got Chastain up there who should have wrecked the field a couple of times, but they got away with it. And then, um, then there was that big wreck with Josh Williams, where apparently I guess belts came undone in the wreck or whatever. Um, but not a whole lot happened, I guess. It had its moments, but it had its moments of single file just kind of hanging around. They even made, yeah, they managed to wreck going single file. Yeah. So good on good on those guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, Justin Haley won. I forgot about that, but he dumped the shit out of the last that last restart. <laughs> yeah. And uh, NASCAR never really did anything about it. So I don't I don't know. But uh, either way, yeah, it was kind of a boner deflator though. Colleague all got together and they just kind of boner deflated the rest of the finish and the rest of the field. But uh, you know, good on them. They did really good. And, um, 
Yeah, maybe they can get some wins on some other tracks, maybe. They got a, what, they got a, the Almendinger win at the Roval, cool, and then they got Daytona and Talladega. They in some, uh, Atlanta this year. Did they win Atlanta? Oh, yeah, that's right, they won Atlanta. That was, uh, that was four then, I guess. All right, look at that. Fucking AJ Allmendinger's carrying the rest of the program and uh, everything else. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I was kind of, I had a feeling Ross Chastain would win something by now, but he kind of hasn't. Yeah, I don't know. He, I've said he's overrated. I think he's overrated, but uh, I am a little surprised he hasn't won, especially with the competitive, uh, I don't know how to word it, but there's not a ton of competition in Xfinity this year. But as the season's gone on, I've seen some guys kind of step it up. You know what I mean? We were kind of yeah. talking about Brandon Jones yesterday, how uh, he's kind of stepped it up this year. And then obviously you got Briscoe, uh, Allgaier, Gregson, um, and then Harrison Burton's done really well as, as well. So I don't know. I uh, I would expect to see Chad Dane do a little better, but there's still time. It's been a weird fucking season. I'm sure this has thrown a lot of people for a loop, a lot of teams for a loop, so they'll probably figure it out. Now that we're kind of getting back into one race a week, um, do we have any more midweek races for a while, or besides uh, the All-Star race? Yeah, besides the All-Star race, I don't think so, but I'm not really sure. I don't got the schedule in front of me. i just like to point out, we just crossed over into, Al- into Alabama. I've never been to Alabama before, so that was a nice moment. <laughs> okay, well, you've, uh, you've been missing out, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I have. I've been close, but... Uh, Hey, hey, crossed over the line, but uh, hey, all right. Wow, that's a nice place. Got some trees over here too, huh? Yeah, got a lot of trees. Okay. It's it's really just like an off-brand Georgia. Okay. Till you get down around the beach and stuff, it's pretty nice. Huntsville's pretty nice too, and it's pretty north. But there's some nice places in Alabama. Gaston's a decent town. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really. I live I've lived really close to Alabama my whole life, and I never wake up and I'm like, man, I want to go to Alabama today. <laughs> That and the time zone fucks with you because there's central time. Yeah, that I, that I didn't realize. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. I well, it gets that. really weird down in Florida because Florida, part of Florida is in central time, part of Florida is, is not. It? Yeah. Oh, I guess like the very last Yeah, so yeah. where we go to the beach in Florida, we're central time. That'll throw you for a loop because uh, not too far away is eastern time, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why I was throwing that little bit of information. <laughs> but that's, we almost, Sam had to remind me because we were going to leave at 10 this morning, but that would got us getting there at 11. Time zones fuck with me, man. When I flew to Colorado, that was the weirdest thing, because it was oh, like, yeah. flying there, with the way the flights worked, it was like, I didn't lose it. When I landed, it was almost the same time as it was when we were taking off. It was just yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to go back in time. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, fun. Uh, is that it? I think so. I can't think of anything else. I think that's about it. We don't, we don't want to drag on too long, obviously. It's probably going to be our this is going to be our short podcast. Yeah, I'm still clocking in at over an hour. Uh, if well you... over an hour, I believe. No, nah, just over an hour. Oh. One hour and four. Oh, well, damn. It felt like forever. So, uh, yeah, if this was... If you, if you could even tell what the hell we were saying, thanks for listening. Uh, we had video there for a little while, as long as my GoPro didn't fry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forgot to tell you, this dash gets really hot because it's black. Yeah, I wasn't too worried though, because like this thing's gotten really hot before when I'm warning for races and stuff. But uh, let's see if it turned on. <laughs> oh yeah, it turned on. That's a okay. tough son of a. It made GoPros really well. I'll tell you that. I'll give it to him. <laughs> it's not stuck to the dash. So yeah. That's good. <laughs> 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 Fucking what a belt. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do us here for the Gattles podcast once again. We were supposed to have it obviously uh, Sunday 10 a.m. is our uh, go-to time, but uh, just uh to get around to it this week just had a lot of stuff going on here so uh but thanks anyways for listening whenever you listen to it uh we appreciate you and uh we'll catch you hopefully next sunday 10 a.m eastern and final words fuck you can look at the outline on the phone um i forgot i could do that too I'm oh fine. i have a phone too believe it or not all right we are recording uh let's pull up this outline What's going on, everybody? It's the Gas Souls Podcast. It's a lot different. Um, I didn't really think too far into this. This might be the worst production quality podcast you ever, ever listen to or watch or anything, experience. Uh, so we're on the way to the track right now. Talladega. Uh, I was driving. I'm hanging out here. And we're, I got my laptop. We got a, a Yeti that's that's uh, bouncing everywhere. 
and we got a GoPro for video um, if you're watching on YouTube. So, yeah. All right. Say what's up. What's up? All right.